have a look at the next question which came in the CAT 2021 slot 2. The question says for the sequence of real numbers, for the sequence of real numbers x1, x2 till xn, if x1 minus x2 plus x3 till minus 1 xn plus 1 xn will be equivalent to n squared plus 2n, for all the natural numbers of n, find a sum of x49 till x50. I repeat the question is find the value of x49 till x50. The only pattern which you can see is negative plus positive, positive plus negative till the values which are gone going. Right? Now let's start with the first value which you have got. Um, let's say, and this is one of those series based questions for which you have to find the value of x1, x2, x3 likewise. I repeat, if you're able to find the overall values of all the the variables right from x1 till x50 or possibly you are able to find some pattern on this you would be able to solve it well and quickly so the question using this expression x1 will be what the value of n you will substitute to be as 1 itself so it's going to become 1 square plus 2 times 1 which will become 3 moving on next time it's going to become x1 minus x2 right if i assume n to be as 2 or uh, the value of x1 minus x2 will become 2 square plus 2 times 2. This value will become 8. Moving ahead, let's see if we can solve x1 minus x2 plus x3. This value will become 3 square plus 2 times 3, which will be equal to 15. Let's see one more expression. x1 minus x2 plus x3, sorry, minus x4 should be equal to should be equal to 4 square plus 2 times 4 which will be equal to 24 okay 16 plus 8 will be equal to 24 and let's see if we can derive some pattern out of this now i want firstly to find the value of x1 x2 x3 and x4 all the values now x1 i already know the value of x1 is 3 and x1 minus x2 has been given to you as 8 so 3 minus x2 will be equal to 8 so the value of x2 will be equal to minus 5. I repeat, the value of x2 will be equal to minus 5. x1 I got as 3. Now x1 minus x2 plus x3 is equal to 15. x1 minus x2 is basically has already been given to me as how much? 8. So the question says 8 plus x3 will be equal to 15. So the value of x3 obviously all of you will find the value to be equal to 7. Now, x1 minus x2 plus x3, if you add with x4, is now becoming 24, which says 15 minus x4 should be equal to 24. So what will be x4? x4 will be equal to 15 minus 24, which is basically minus 9. So you got x4 to be as minus 9. So x1 is plus 3, x2 is minus 5, x3 is plus 7, x4 is minus 9. All the values are going out of the magnitude of 2 to 2, but the signs are also changing. So if you see here, plus 3 minus 5 plus 7 minus 9, the next value will become plus 11. Likewise, x5 and x49, x50, all the values you'll be able to find. Let's see the difference of any of these two values. Let me first plot x1, x2, x3 and x4. In a very simple way, let's put this as plus 3 minus 5 plus 7 minus 9. Now if we take the sum of any of these two consecutive numbers as a difference, uh, let's take uh, x1 plus x2. x1 plus x2 will give you how much? Minus 2. x3 plus x4 will give you how much? Minus 2. You will find minus to be equal to this basically a constant for any of the addition of two consecutive terms. So similarly, x49 plus x50 will also give you minus 2 in the end and hence the answer for this given question will be equivalent to minus 5.